One community in Queens is fighting mad, but it's a lot like a battle between David and Goliath. Goliath is Home Depot, and the company plans to open a new store in Queens. It will mean new jobs for the area, but some residents say it will change their neighborhood forever. Tim Fleischer has the story. Having paid off the mortgage on his South Ozone Park home several years ago, Luca DiMattia thought he would settle back, not even imagining that he would end up fighting the neighbors. And we're going to have all these tractor-trailer drivers, all this extra traffic that's coming in. And what about the little mom and pop stores that are around? Mm -hmm. The ones that we, quite, quite frankly, enjoy doing business with. The business that will be Luca's neighbor is a Home Depot like this one, stacked to the ceiling with home improvement and building products. It's got it all, what some call a megastore. We have located in Elmont several years ago, and a, a good percentage of that in, uh, customer base in the Elmont store comes from Queens. So really, in, in, to us, the ozone site is really answering a need. Home Depot purchased 11 acres of the parking lot at Aqueduct Racetrack, planning a store employing more than 250 people. Just what impact a store like this will have on the South Ozone Park neighborhood is yet to be determined. But some people believe that should have been taken into consideration before the city issued its permit. For this store to be built here legally, it would have to go through a community review process. An environmental impact statement would have to be done, traffic studies, public hearings. To avoid all this, they've characterized the store as a hardware store. Building department officials would not discuss this matter with Eyewitness News, but admitted in this letter to Queens residents that while calling it a hardware store, the task involved is to find the best match between today's businesses and industrial definitions that are 35 years out of date. Environmental and traffic reviews are not needed for this site, but are for two other proposed Home Depot sites in Queens. All of which has Luca DiMattia as taxpayer and homeowner wondering where his concerns fit in all of this. Tim Fleischer, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.